Yo, what's going on guys? I am Pryoxys and I am back with another EA Sports UFC 4 video. And in this video, we're going to be using Brian T. City Ortega. All right, now this first match, this guy has about, I think he had like 1,870 something points. He had like 200 more than me. Yeah, man, I'm using Ortega and I believe he's using uh, Volkanovski. And in this fight here, I have to... I can manage with the striking because, you know, I am a decent striker, but... In this fight, man, they gotta be on the ground. You gotta get this guy to the ground. And he throws that double low kick and lands it. Now he threw it two times in a row. Now I'm like, okay, is he gonna throw it a third time? It's, it's kind of predictable. Throws a switch kick. That goes again. That's three times he's thrown that combination. So now I'm like, okay, he wants. And he throws this combination way out of the pocket. Tries to clinch me. I go for a takedown and then I chain rest. I mean, I'm, I go for a takedown, I cancel it. And to put me into uh, over under, and then I go for the pull guard sweep, and to put me on top again. I don't. I, I'd rather be on the ground than you know standing with this fighter. Now there's a couple things that this guy did, and I picked up on him fairly quickly. He denies take. Then he pre denies transition. See how he gave me the, the side control two times in a row. I'm like, hmm. What is he doing exactly? So what, when I noticed that he was doing, look, see that right there? He immediately denied that transition. That, that was not a reacting transition deny. That was a pre-deny. So I'm like, okay, so he's pre-denying transitions. Now I know I can possibly go for one of these, like the second, that one again. That even showed right there again that he was pre-denying. See how fast he denied that top control? I mean, that, yeah, that, uh, that full mount? I'm like, okay, I see what he's doing here. And again, because I knew he was pre-denying, and I'm Brian Ortega, he thought I'd go for that full guard sweep. But no, I went for the side control um, transition that basically put my feet on the fence, kicked off, and then rolled over, him, and I was on top side control. Now again, I'm back into side control. I'm like, okay, this guy is pre-denying transitions. He's not, he's not trying to deny off of reaction from right now. He's just pre-denying transitions. And I'm in side control, and I'm just... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just denying his transitions. Now, here we go here. I immediately go into a transition because if he goes, like, up, he'll put me on the cage. And I don't want to be on the cage, but I deny his. He tried to go full guard. I denied that. Nice. And let's see what I do. I go for a bulldog choke. I went for the bulldog choke instead of going for a, um the back, the back sitting because he would have probably denied that one. So, I just tried to get in a little submission. Again, it's a five-round fight, so got to look good on the Georgia's the, judge's scorecard so I can hopefully win a decision one day but here I gave up on the submission because his bar was way too far up and I didn't want him to get the opportunity where he gets so far into the submission that it would basically give uh, him the top control once he got out of it so I, I gave up I said he's I'm not getting a submission and then here he actually reverses me which was nice let's see what he does he postures up Two hooks, straight punch, straight punch, straight punch, and then a, a hook. And I don't really read those hooks and those straights too much against people because the mix-ups is so, like, you can try to follow somebody's pattern and then they'll hit you with a mix-up. You'll get knocked out <laughs> with the ground and pound, so you don't want to really want to do that. I mean, well, you can if they're being obviously predictable. But some people, at high-level players, will mix it up, and I predicted that this guy wouldn't do the same thing with his ground and pound. He's a high-level player. Go to, he doesn't touch my glove. He tries to clinch me. Hit him with a cross, lead uppercut. It's kind of one of that's one of my favorite combinations is a cross lead uppercut. I denied that. He tried to chain wrestle. He went down. Boom, knock him down. And I tried to go for this little cheesy. Not cheesy, but like cheeky. I'll say cheeky because it wasn't cheese. But uh the rear naked choke off the when he got him down. When I knocked him down, he got back up. Now he's just pressuring me hard. He is pressuring me. Front kick landed clean. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, he clinches me. Boom, got me against the cage. And he throws those knees against guys. If they throw knees against the cage, you cannot block knees. You have to be holding down both triggers and frame out of it. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys watch my stream, but if you do need help, come put it in the comment section, and uh, I'll show you guys on the next stream. About the on the cage. Ooh, he boom. He he is he just rocked me clean. Now he's just he just winging combinations now. 
He's just completely just winging combinations. Oh. My head health isn't looking too great, though, because he's just throwing combinations. <laughs> Cross lead double cut. Boom. He dodged that. It was, it was going to be night-night if he didn't dodge that. Here we go. Jab, uppercut, land it clean, put him to sleep. That's it. <laughs> very clean. Very, very clean fight there, man. That was a very clean. I like that. If you guys enjoyed that knockout, man, be sure to hit that like button. And I will be back with another video. Hold on. Before we leave, we got to watch this knockout again, though. Boom. Mm, one more time. Boom. Man, it clean. Knocked him out. Put Volkanovski to sleep. I'll be back. All right, here we go with our second fight. Um, Let's get into it. Touch him up. Here we go. Again, I'm getting another Volkanovski. I'm not surprised. This weight class is full, filled with uh, Volkanovskis. And Max Holloway's. And, you know, Brian Ortega's. And also... Uh, there's a couple of Conor McGregor's. I pull guard again. I don't want to be on the ground. I do not want to be on the ground. If I pull guard, roll him over into full uh, top mount, and I'm fine here, man. This is this is uh you know this is Brian Ortega's realm. It's the it's the ground game, man. I don't want to be standing with Volkanovski because it's it's <laughs> it's not easy for me there, man. But again. Get on the ground. Get the back sit and transition. Now, how I got that transition there is because he tried to do a fake transition, and I did an actual transition, so I got it. Now, I did not his, his submission. I mean, I did not his transition there to go to full guard. Then I go for a rear naked choke. And let's see how I do here. He's got defense. Isn't bad. Have very, very, blah, can't even talk. He has very good defense. Very good defense here. Uh, I assume he was going to get out of this submission. Yeah, he's going to get out of this. 100%. Yep, he gets out, and I'm pretty sure it's going to put him in full guard. And he's going to be on top now. Side control. Okay. Deny that. Yep, I'm pretty sure that I was easy to deny. Now, I see there that he has no uh, stamina. His stamina was very low. So, I tried to immediately go for it. I went to full guard immediately went for a triangle choke. This is Brian Ortega's best choke. And I'm pretty sure I don't get it, but... It's all good. Again, you don't you won't always get your submissions on the first, second, third attempt. Sometimes it takes four or five to get your submission. But uh be honestly, I don't I think the submissions are very bad in this game. I know some of you guys are like, oh, the submissions are fine. The submissions are fine, but I don't think you uh you understand the submission defense. Um especially with when I have someone and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in this fight. I have someone with very low stamina, and I go for a submission. And I have a five-star submission on a fighter that's a submission, like a, a submission demon. But it's all good. I get him in rubber guard. What up? Oh, he got this. Nice. I'll get the half guard. Now, if you got enough grapple advantage and you go stack guard, you see that there, you'll get that transition there. Or you can go half guard. It's, it's, a lot of BJJ guys have it. Back to the ground, get him in an arm triangle, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get out of this, too. With, with me just looking at how the submissions is and the bar right now, he's getting out of this. Gets out, and it's all good. I mean, moving on to the next round. Well, in 14 seconds, but I'd say I, I'd say I won this round. But like I said, man, with these judges in this game, you never know. <clears throat> you never know, man. Like, seriously, you never know. But it said, it said, it said, it did say I won that round. And touch him up. Again, I don't, I don't. My stamina's fine. My health stats is fine. But I don't want to be on, on the feet versus Volkanovski because he beats me in every aspect as well. Especially with high-level players. You know, it's going to be very hard to deal with, uh, with Volkanovski. And you see that there. You guys see he did the, the uppercut after the two knees and the clinch. And it landed clean for some reason. Who knows? But try to go for a takedown. It didn't work. He was uh, pre denying. He goes for it. Go for a takedown, which was surprising. It's like, what is he going for? He got those two knees. 
when I back up to the cage because I don't want him to land off that free uppercut again. I'm, I'm actually fighting pretty clean right here with the boxing. You know, I'm I'm sticking him. I'm sticking and moving, sticking and moving. Oh, and I get I ate an uppercut. I mean, uh, <laughs> I ate an overhand. Throw the roundhouse to their body. Throw another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing very clean this fight. I see. He goes for a takedown. Let's see if I try to go for the submission. I do go for the submission. I walk around a little bit, put him on a cage. I don't think I get the submission here, though. I'm pretty sure I don't get it. This guy had very good submission defense. I'll give him that very good submission defense. Yeah, he gets out. And then he taunts me. I was like, what, what, what are you taunting for, bro? <laughs> what are you taunting for? I'm pretty sure his stamina didn't look good. After throwing that right there, I probably could have went for a takedown and got the spear. I'm pretty sure his stamina got taxed for that right there. And look at the box. Look at the boxing right there, though. <laughs> look at that boxing. And uh, Brian Ortega, guys, Brian Ortega doesn't have horrible boxing. It's just compared to Volkanovski, compared to Max Holloway, he, he you just get outboxed. You know, for Calvin Cater, you just get outboxed. You, you, it's not a fair match trying to box those guys. You got to take it to the ground. But here, I'm, I'm, I'm striking with them for some reason. Like, I don't remember too much of these matches because they're old. But I'm actually striking with this guy. And probably because I feel like... I'm doing decent, so it's like, okay, I can manage. You know, I can, I'm not really too worried about having to get a takedown. So I'm, I'm managing with the strike, and he taunts me again for some reason. Man, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you guys do as well, but that, that cross lead uppercut or a cross lead, uh, cross lead hook or cross lead uppercut, man, I don't know why it's, it's, it feels so clean. And I'll assume because the stopping power on the cross. But there we go. We won that round. I'm pretty sure we won that round. We're ahead two rounds to none. He has to get the finish. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what this guy does. Uh oh. Take him down. Nice. See, and now what I did there was a lot of guys, when you do that uh, that ankle pick, they'll immediately try to throw an upper kick by just pressing the kick button. And I backed up, let him through the kick, and then I, I then I jumped into the guard. That's something a lot of players do now. They'll predict that you're going to throw that kick and then uh, back up and then go forward. Now, then I his transition there. And again, I know I won this round. Like, I won the first two rounds. It told me I won. So I'm like, okay. I can, I can cruise through this round. I can just get it to the ground and take him to my world instead of taking a chance of getting knocked out on the feet. My chances of losing on the ground is very low compared to how I would lose, like, on the feet. Get backside. Let's see where he goes. He goes full guard. Nice. Okay, we're just, I'm just sitting here. The nice transition there. Now, a lot of you guys, I don't know if you use it, but do you see that, that meter at the top of the screen? That's the grapple advantage meter. And I highly recommend all of you guys to use that thing if you can, man. Because, honestly, while it shouldn't be in ranked, use it while you can. You see his stamina is low. Because uh indicates it at the top left of the screen. Yeah, I know I won this fight. I know I won this fight. I don't have to do too much. Oh. Look at the boxing. Look at the boxing. Look at the boxing, guys. Come on now. It was very clean boxing right there. One, two, three, man. That's my favorite combination is the jab, cross, lead hook. It's literally my favorite combination. It's so clean. He takes me. Oh, no, he doesn't take me now. Oh, he does. He jumped into my guard. I take his back. Now, his stamina should be low because he did the ground and pound. I there he goes, right there. So I'm using Brian Ortega. Now, this is what I was talking about on Twitter. Brian Ortega has a very good rear naked choke. I'm pretty sure it's five star. Um, and he has no stamina. And I believe this guy still gets out of this submission. I even get the chain into the arm bar. 
and I, I he still gets out, man. Like, no stamina. <laughs> that kills me, man. That, that really kills me. But, yeah, and it's all good. I can, I, I'm going to win this decision here. If it goes to decision, I'm going to win. But he, he has to let it all out because if he doesn't, he's going to lose this fight. If he does not knock me out in these 20 seconds, he's going to lose this fight. And I'm trying to throw these strikes to try to catch him as he tries to come in with something big. I knock him down here. Go for the ground and pound. Bing, 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 bing. And I almost finished that fight. That fight would have been finished for one more cross to the head. He probably would have got TKO'd. But uh, again, I'm pretty sure I won this fight. We can let it go to the judges' scorecard. I'm not sure if I skipped it or not, but we know. You and me both know. Unless it's pure robbery, we both know that I won that fight. But again, man, if you guys did enjoy this Brown Ortega showcase, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm out. Actually, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for these judges because you never know. You honestly never know. Let's see. I can't hear the scorecards, but I'm pretty sure I'm finna get my hand raised. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace.